Greetings, YouTube. So yesterday, okay, so yesterday I did a video on how to take notes. Um, and a few weeks ago, one or two weeks ago, I created a video on organization. Now, I said what I used and methods I used to organize, but I never actually said how to. So, without further ado, I give you Brayden's help. How to organize. Now, in order to be organized, you need... Well, that depends how unorganized of a person you are. So, last of all wins one million dollars. Number two, uh, Mr. Beast. I kind of is it bad that I feel ashamed if you subscribe to him? Hmm. So, oh yeah, donate to Team Trees. Just kidding, I don't. But still, we want to save the planet. But then again. The trees will take like 25 years to grow, so will it really help our planet? Because what if they all get destroyed then? Okay, stop with the team trees. Um, so there are three tiers of an organization. Tier one is that you can generally do things pretty well, but you're kind of forgetful from time to time. Tier two is... You will often forget things, and you're always like fashionably late, but tier three is you can never remember what to do at all, ever. And that is most common, I think. So, here's what I do. No, I know that was. So here's what I do. So. At around six o'clock in the morning, um, right after I'm out of the shower and dressed and brushed my teeth and all that, I start to look at my calendar. Now my calendar holds everything I have that I need Simply to do. Simply having and writing down everything on your calendar isn't enough. So if you have a phone, like I'm recording on right here, then what I would recommend is that you go ahead and get Google Calendar, like I said in my other organization video. So Google Calendar, that'll get you reminders, okay? That'll give you some reminders. Phone comes built in with reminders app, that's good. Now, if you need reminders, but you, certain, but you don't really need them to be put on electronically, you just need to be like, oh yeah, that's happening. Then, I, then do this. Yes. Now you can have one color, but I recommend to have at least two. So, now you may be wondering, like, the Google Calendar has so many colors, and how would I create different calendars? Well, this is what you do. If you have a desk, like this, what you need to do is you need to put your stuff, like, tape some things right in front of that wall. So right here, I have a calendar cheat sheet. So it's school. Anything color-coded red, for orchestra, anything orange, math, anything yellow, science. Um, ignore the due dates. I changed that to student council. Um, anything dark blue, Spanish, purple, English. Oh, wait, no. Light blue, English, light purple, college and career. That We have that class. Slash robotics. Um, slash audiovisual. Um. Deep purple, I'm on the library council, which is like student council, but for the library. <sighs> then I actually have library, the public library that I volunteer at. We have a teen advisory board. Um, separate thing run by a separate person where it's volunteer service night. So anything for red is tab, anything for orange is volunteer service night. There's some writer clubs I go to there. So anything yellow is writer's clubs, and anything that is book due date are blue. Okay, so for Google Calendar, there's this uh, 
it's a sort of little trick, I guess, to use when, um, like, so let's say I have a book due, okay? Go to events, and then, okay, wait, hold on, I should tell you. So, yeah, I don't like reminders because they look kind of tacky, and I have the reminders app. So, what I decided to do is this. So, I'll go to events, okay? Now, I'm returning a book, so go to the library calendar. Now, like you saw on my cheat sheet, returning a book on my library calendar is light blue, also known as Peacock on this. So, as you can see right now, I'm turning it to all day. Make sure you're available also, as you'll see later, because... You know, this isn't taking up your entire day in reality. So, you see I'm available. Okay. Then I go and create it, and boom, you've just tagged a day. Now, I'm obviously going to go and delete it because, you know, I don't actually have a book due that day. <sighs> so, there you go. That is how to tag a day, or day tag, as I call it. So, um, that's how I would use a, uh, day tagging. Um, okay, so, um, so let's assume you have multiple sticky notes. And now, what would you use for each of these? Well, this is what I like to use. So, pink, those are my general reminders, just anything I need to. Green is for... Any school-related things, like if I have to email my English teacher, or home reminders. Those are anything happening at home that I should know about. Like, uh, well, I haven't had to use that yet, actually. But you get the general gist of it. <clears throat> now this, I showed this in the last video I did of organization. Important and urgent, you better do it now. If it's not urgent and not important, don't do it at all. If it's not important but urgent, delegate. Tell someone else to do it. And if it's important but not urgent, plan it. And planning is a very essential thing. Okay, so here are my productivity apps. You can see I have quite a bit. Now, this is next up. It's podcast alarm. This is not for prod... Um, ne and this, my alarms and, okay, so the only things you need to know are Todoist, Google Calendar, Checklist, Reminders, and Schedule Planner for this. Because those are all organization. The others are to stop procrastination or, yeah, productivity. So, Google Calendar... Obviously, you know, checklist is for anything to doist. That is a um, schedule planner. So, or no, not schedule planner. That is a uh, um, thing I'm talking about. So, uh, this is a reading list of books I want to read. Children of Blood and Bone, reading that, it's good. Now, schedule planner seems pretty obvious. Anything I plan in my schedule, do there. Now, um, reminder, for any reminders, like, uh, if I needed to remind myself to, like, write a certain part of my book or something, it's all good. So, these are all productivity. I'd say they all land under two branches of stop procrastination and help with organization. So, uh, yeah, that, those are all my productivity apps. They're really useful. Use them every day. So those are just some of the many ways you can um, organize. Uh, I don't know if this has been that informative. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. This means nothing if you don't do it. Now this calendar here is for me to look at every morning while I use Google Calendar to actually send me reminders. So, all this scheduling, all this planning, is absolutely nothing. You do not do it. So, you have to make sure you do these things, really. 
because the moment you stop, then your entire world falls apart. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this informative. And tomorrow, I think I'll be doing one either on habits or procrastination. I bid you farewell. Goodbye.